Hello, this is Jeffrey Fox here. And we're coming to a use case done in detail. The last uh, section involved 51 separate use cases and skimmed them all over all of them with about a slide or so each. Here we're going into uh, devoting two units to the one case of recommender systems. And in particular, the application of Netflix was, was actually done as a summary in the last uh, section. As always, we're using clouds, we're running data analytics. As we saw very um, amazingly in the physics example with 3,000 people on an experiment, we have to do it collaboratively. And we're processing big data and we're solving problems in X informatics. Here we have our collage of the various areas of informatics defined on the web. And as we noted, this is just a sample of, some of the actual areas of X informatics. Not all of them, like physics informatics, doesn't yet exist. And this we might even call commerce informatics, lifestyle informatics. We've used various names for this in the past. In the first short lesson, we'll uh, give an introduction to recommender systems, what they do, and um, why they effectively adjust an optimization system, and they're solving an opt a problem, which is just an optimization problem. So here we start off with a, a slide of examples, and um, essentially a lot of commerce activities, but that commerce varies from books through electronics, through movies, those are dominated by recommender systems, there's a lot of their Par is, and also just the basic internet site personalization relies on recommender systems, which suggests what uh, things to uh, uh, to assign to the page that the person is use, is looking at. And so the obvious example is Amazon, which probably first popularized this by the buy recommendations they have on the web. Um, other examples are Netflix, which is movies to look at. There are sites that use recommender systems to recommend restaurants to eat at, events to go to, and of course, everything to buy. Um, there are sort of related technologies which use a mixture of user choice and grouping of internet sites together that present customized Google news pages and similar types of um, uh, websites. Um, in the real world, we have the Given some sales statistics, we need to decide on discounts at supermarkets and the placement of um, where placement should be put, where products should be placed next to each other by looking at buying habits and see what correlations there are. LinkedIn uses these technologies to identify possible colleagues at uh, um, which then can you can. Um, invite to join you and could become one of your your collection. Um, even probably I an mean, equally important example is providing matches between employers and employees or uh, employees and jobs at sites like Career Builder and Monster. Uh, I notice all of these are optimization problems. You're trying to do something in a way that is in some sense optimal. That optimality is not so always so easy to measure, but intuitively it's not, these are all optimization problems. Here we have a little um, diversion. Everything is an optimization problem. When we were doing that uh, Higgs analysis, um, well, the discovery of the Higgs boson, we saw how to fit models to data. Because we had a background and then we had a little bump, which was the Higgs. That's um, an optimization problem to fit that model to the data. Uh, I say, we've already done matching of users to jobs or books. Users to books or in LinkedIn, users to other users. Related optimization problem of classification, where you have a list of categories, which are sometimes called ontologies, and you wish to optimize the assignment of the members of assignment of the data to the ontology. Um, somewhat further afield, if you're in a Jungle with snakes and lions and things around you. Keeping alive in that jungle involves optimizing one's position, optimizing one's actions. You don't want to um, alert the snake that you actually are somebody they could 
they could um, strike and things like that. So that's an optimization problem where the optimal you're try thing you're trying to do is to maximize your chance of staying alive. And uh, that's what you're, and when you are doing that, you usually use your, often use your eyes to make decisions. Your eyes are actually optim looking at pixels and optimizing the interpretation of those pixels based on what you know up to now. So that's multiple optimization problems there. When you look at this on the computer, you end up trying to minimize a function, or sometimes you actually maximize the negative of a function. Um, and um, often, actually, when we try to solve these problems for the computer, we have to find an ingenious choice of function, because uh, converting happiness into a function is not always so easy. Um, physics has learned to do this. Uh, nature minimizes the free energy. That's the way that, that uh, um, the basic, basic fundamental, basic particles uh, decide what to do. Uh, one general approach that is what we've already mentioned, the funny space approach, where you think of people and items as points in the space. And um, this optimization problem is, is, is uh, phrased in this space. And this space is often a very non-traditional space, doesn't have normal distance functions. A lot of the points in the space are funny because some of the coordinates of the points are undefined and so on. But still, everything is an optimization problem. When you vote for the president, you're solving an optimization problem of how to keep best serve the country over the next few years. Now we just uh, tell you what's going to go on in the rest of this unit, where we're going to make some general comments. Uh, based on uh, a lot of which is based on uh, this online site, which I strongly recommend, which is some teaching materials associated with a good book in this field. That book is too detailed for, for this course, because this course is just a broad overview. But still, if you really want to go into more detail, that book and that site are very good. The, the, the slides are extremely good slides. We will discuss the Kegel site, as it's a uh, remarkable, um, that, that, that you can post problems and have people solve them, in fact, uh, and compete to solve, and therefore you can get some sort of, that sort of crowdsourcing, getting people to help you and work uh, remotely on the same problem. And then the end of this unit is some comments from Netflix, which came from a 2012 tutorial on, on their approach as a company. So that's the end of this uh, short introduction. Thank you very much. The next section will talk about uh, a broad introduction to what recommender systems do.